Hey guys, Scott here. Yep, I got the shirt in white too. My mom hooked me up. I don't know. It's black, brown, and white. I'm not normally a white shirt type of guy, but it's got the elbow pads. Same deer. Probably get one one day. Here's the deal. I'm in the North Woods, Maine. Any part of Maine is fine, but uh, I'm looking for some car, truck, even some motorcycle people, I guess. I've never really driven a motorcycle. I never owned a motorcycle. I respect it tremendously. I enjoy the vintage motorcycles. Um, I enjoy anything like pre-technology, like, I don't know, when did things get like really plasticky, like early 70s. I've had trucks in the 80s. I like 80s trucks. I guess even 90s trucks, whatever. But I'm looking to get together with some people that have some car hobbies, car, truck, motorcycle enthusiasts, people that are building stuff, repairing, restoring. And I'm going to keep it really wide open. It can be imports. It can be airplanes. I don't care. You could drag a boat down the street and put wheels and tires on it and say it's a car or whatever. I'm trying to get together with some people, positive people. Okay, uh, if you want to go bar crawling and booze riding, that's fine. Do that in a different in a different day. You know that that's not my deal. I'm trying to get together with people that are just into the hobby, and I'd like to have a cruise down from the northern part of the state. Maybe we meet up somewhere, or maybe even like uh, central part of the state, and go down along the coast. So it's a regional thing. I'm not just trying to get people from the town that I live in. Um, but I would like to do it in a way that, I don't know, is respectful. It's about the cars, bikes, lifted trucks, low riders, imports. Uh, it doesn't matter. As long as you're respectful about your vehicle and you're not going to go thrashing and get hurt and give it a bad connotation. It's about, you know, just people getting together that want to enjoy, you know. And uh, I, I want to keep it wide open because I've always felt like, this little uh, oddball in most groups. So whether you have a car that's a hot rod, well, what's a hot rod? Or what's, what's a muscle car? When did the muscle car era end? I call my car muscle car, but really most people say 1972 was the end. And then it resurged later again, I guess, with these crazy horsepower numbers that cars got. 800,000 horsepower, you know, supercharged turbo, four cylinders, all this stuff trying to get it together and I don't know if people are doing it I don't know if I'm stepping on toes uh if if I am let me know let me know what, what your deal is and when it is but I'd like to promote a cruise up to some of the northern parts of the state to go check out some lake areas anywhere where the pavement ends you know right where it's at the end of the pavement we'll go there we'll stop we'll look go along the coast maybe go out to Lubeck you know take route one from the top of Maine down to the beginning that would be cool I think there's a lot of uh, countryside and not as much traffic. I know you can argue and say Route One's crazy in summer, and it is, but it's not as much traffic as other places in the in the country. So, um, and if people want to get to where they're going, they can hop on ninety five. Let's get it together. Let me know. I, I don't want to be the only person trying to be the brainchild of this because I've never done anything like this before. I, I've never even had a friend, you know, besides maybe a couple times cruise with me somewhere. I've always been a lone wolf, but I'm trying to get it together where we, while we still can do it, you know, while we still have gasoline engines and vintage cars on the road, you know, I don't even care if I have a, you know, a four cylinder Civic, you know, cruising with me. If you got something that you want to cruise and you're proud of it and you, you want to go for a ride, if we can get a bunch of people out family oriented, I can't stress that enough because nobody wants to be around a bunch of hacksaw Jim Duggins. <laughs> Maybe they do. <laughs> I wouldn't mind. But I don't want to scare away the families. That's where it's at. I want to see three, four, five-year-old kids, eight-year-old kids, everybody playing together, getting to know each other. And then I'd like to see a bigger growth, uh, you know, of people helping each other. You know, let's get together. Let's talk about car parts. No agenda. You know, no, no political point of view. No religious you know, if you want to be religious, that's fine. I'm not going to ever say you can't be free. 
We could be free to do what we want. But, you know, I, I just don't want to uh, exclude anybody for any reason. If they're into cars and they're building them, even if they buy them and, and that's all they can do, and just be respectful and we help each other. So we go on these long hauls and maybe we, we could spend the night over somewhere, Bar Harbor, you know. You don't have to be affiliated. You don't have to chip in. You just get yourself there. You hang out there. Maybe we could look into locations where we could park. I know that there's that uh, Owl's Head auction. Maybe they have like a cruise in there. Maybe go down to Bath's. You know, find out from some of these cities. Go to Belfast, see if we could park in an area. Last year, uh, in Dover, there was uh, Dover Foxcroft. I think there was like the tractor pull and all that. There was a car show there. Very minimal cars. I know it's, I think a lot of people have cars up here, but they got them like tucked away. And it's like once in a while, they'll drive them. It'd be nice, it'd be nice to know that we can get together all at the same time and say, let's do it together. We can look at everybody's stuff. And then maybe they'll be more apt to bring them out. I don't care. As soon as this road out here is uh, dried up and not like I'm going to get stuck getting up the hill, I'm cr I'm driving my car. I mean, build something that you can drive on these roads if you're worried about salt and all. And, you know, don't drive original numbers matching 442 unless it's sunny and clean out. But, I mean, you can get a Cutlass S or Monte Carlo. I know a guy right now with a nice Monte Carlo that's ready to run, just needs a roof skin. If you want to get into a project, let me know. I'm interested, and I'm not just trying to generate interest in my channel, but I want this channel to be that beacon of uh, of positivity and maybe the the driving force for us to like do fun stuff like this, you know you know cookouts, tailgates. I know that there's a couple of racetracks around in Southern Maine. I think there's one racetrack in Southern Maine. If we get enough people around, I would be down for like a you know chipping in and buying a piece of land and, and just opening up a small track somewhere or maybe get like a decommissioned airport that we could go play on. I mean, it, the road don't got to be perfect. Let's go just be safe. Let's go somewhere where we can do it. I got a lot of ideas. And if people steal out my ideas, I don't care because I'm going to still show up and I'm going to enjoy what we do. So I don't want to come to a new state and try to take over and try to pretend like I know what I'm doing because I don't. But I, I see a need. And a want. I see burnouts. I see burnouts all over this state. Two tires. They might be side by side. They might be lifted trucks, diesels. I don't know. But I see tires getting peeled. Whole shots getting run. And I know that these guys are, and girls are out there waiting for a nice place to cruise to or something fun to do. Swap meet. Maybe, maybe the hobby's dying. I don't know. You let me know. Do you got to live in California or southern states to be able to do this? Um, a lot of people will say that. Well, good luck back in, uh, go back to Jersey with that stuff. We do side-by-sides. Hey, listen, you want to have a side-by-side -side show? That's fine too. I don't care. Off-road vehicles, but let's promote it with a positive mind frame and let's get people out there. Thanks for watching. Let's rock out. Okay. Let's ride. I'm personally into like muscle cars and older stuff. So if you haven't seen my channel, that's what I'm into. I would like to have traditional hot rod one day but i come to find they're very expensive so maybe we'll see what happens maybe the prices come down a little bit i'd like to have like a flathead ford v8 model a coupe or a roadster put a jacket on all right guys let me know like share subscribe comment here uh, let's put it together you know use this channel to if you want to reach out and let me know so main regional area. Let's get it together. Thanks for watching.